If you want to be able to share your table with someone who doesn't have access installed on their computer, so you can't send them your database, what you can do instead is export your table into an XPS or PDF file format. Now the XPS is a Microsoft format that allows you to open it up with the Microsoft XPS Viewer, and that comes with Microsoft's latest operating system like Windows 7 and on. And so let's go ahead and do that. We got our computers table, double click. It has two records. Let's go ahead and close out. With the table selected, come up here and click on external data. Go to export, and there you go, one stop shopping. Either PDF or XPS. Go ahead and click on it. And let's come over here and save it to the desktop. And the default's PDF. Why don't we go ahead and change that to XPS, and then go ahead and publish it. And voila, opens it up right here in the XPS viewer. Cool. So we can go ahead and take a gander and go, oh, that's what you got in your table. Oh, that's nice. And then say, well, you forgot this other computer with the ASIC tag 3. And you can tell them, hey, wait a second, I'm still doing data entry. And in any case, you can collaborate over the XPS file here. If they don't have access to the access program, either through the internet or installed in their computer. So let's go ahead and close out of here. And then it says, do you want to save these export steps? And that's very handy later on when something's a bit more step intensive, because here, I mean, it was just a single click and it opened up. But when I have more steps and there's more processes to be able to get the data that I want exported from Access, then I may want to save it so I don't have to click as many times. And we'll go over that in a later training video, but since this was so simple and clean, let's go ahead and close out. And let's do it again. This time when we click on PDF or XPS, again, we got our table selected still. We'll go to the desktop. Change it from XPS, and you can see it right there. That's what it looks like, and there's the extension .xps. Let's go ahead and change it to PDF, which is Adobe's Acrobat program. And most people will have that installed in their computer, at least the reader. So they can go ahead and read this PDF file format. If not, you can go to adobe.com and be able to download their free Acrobat reader. So in any case, we've got it in PDF file format. Let's click on Publish. And there we go. It opened it up in Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat right there. And that's really fancy. And the thing I like about PDF that you can't do in XPS is that you can go ahead and ooh, highlight the text. Well, that's fancy. Maybe add some sticky notes. Ooh, getting even more fancy. And so let's go ahead and close out of here. And you can save the steps. Well, it's just a single click. I don't have anything else outside of that. So let's go ahead and minimize that down to the taskbar. Look on the desktop, there's the XPS file, and here's the PDF. And double click to open up the XPS, and there you go. Do you have any tools up here to go ahead and highlight or add sticky notes? Well, you can click on the file format, permissions, signatures. No, it's the bare bones. You can't add your own personal notes or highlight parts of it. And so, well, you probably have to print it off and get out the old fancy highlighter if you want to highlight a few things. In any case, they'll be able to view this on their computer. Either XPS Viewer, if they have a Microsoft computer, if they don't have Microsoft or Windows computer, then PDF it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.